Several years ago, I needed a sewing thimble. I didn't want to drive to the city to buy one, so I said, well, I'll just make one out of wood. I now make a lot of them. As you can see, I have quite a few. I make them out of all kinds of different pieces of wood. There's a piece of spalted maple. There's a piece of, I think, ash. That's oak. That's cherry. That's black walnut. I make these, and I give them to people that are nice. They're not nice, they don't get one. Anyways, to save time, if I made these individually one at a time, it would take me probably eh, 10 to 20 minutes. By going into production mode, I cut my time to less than 10 minutes each. So, anyways, I'll take you over to the first step. I slice up pieces of wood, inch and an eighth square, and then I cut them off into pieces about inch and a half. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty close to that saw blade, so I have to be careful. Okay. Now I get a bunch of these and I just throw them in the box and wait for the next step. Next step is to bore them. You can see I have quite a few bored. I have a special bit that I made. It's tapered. I made it out of a flat bit. And I just bore these to depth. The deeper the hole, the bigger the thimble, because it's tapered. All right, that's one ready to go. That's step complete. Then from there, I go over to my wood lathe, stick one on a tapered chuck, the same basic diameter as the drill bit that I have. I put this on here, just it's held on by friction. Built, bring up the tailstock and tighten it up so it doesn't slip, and start to turn it. It doesn't take real long. I think this is a piece of Norwegian maple. It turns really nice. Nice tight green wood. And I cut it off the length. Sometimes I cut them off a little too short, then I have a small clump. You don't do that real often, but once in a while. I cut a groove in it with a piece of stainless steel wire. I burn a ring on it. The ring is just makes it look a little better. It's kind of a trademark. Then I finish turning the thing up into Cut the outside rings on it. Uh, I'm cutting the end. Move the tail stock out of the way. And put the rings to the bottom. Now I'll take a piece of sandpaper and sand it smooth. make that same paper like they used to. Then for finish, I take some beeswax, put it on my fingers, use a little pressure and it generates friction, it creates a little heat and melts the wax into the thimble. Take a paw, paper towel, wipe off the extra, clean the slots out with my thumbnail, and we're ready to go. 
one throwing thimble all done. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.